Hello everyone, and I'm back with another Thomas the Tank Engine character review. There we go, sorry, one of the parts was sticking up there. Here today we have Henry the Green Engine. Again, one of my two largest steam locomotive models I've built. Both him and Gordon were built at the exact same time. Reason being is because of the boiler design. It being five studs up top, four studs on the side. I kind of wanted to build them both at the same time. That way I didn't have I didn't have to go back and uh, like rip. Let's say I built Gordon first, which I kind of did. Um, I wouldn't have to, when the model's done, I say, I'm going to sit down and build Henry. Let me rip, rip up Gordon so I see how it's done. Kind of built them at the same time. That way I didn't have to destroy any models and reconstruct models. It was just easier. Um, <clears throat> this, I probably had more fun making Henry than I had making Gordon. Just because um, there were parts of Gordon that were relatively frustrating. One of those being the uh, rear bo bogey set. The two wheels in the back underneath his cab. Getting all that to connect. As well as the rear design of the boiler. That was not fun. But Henry here was pretty straightforward. I think the hardest part about Henry's model was just the part constraint. A lot of this, yes, I did get parts in. I didn't order parts in. I got a lot of part extra parts I needed through sets or through the extra bags or bricks and minifigs. I go up there <clears throat> and rummage through his parts. So that's how I got a lot of these parts for Henry. Um, that being, he was a little easier. The hardest part is going to was actually building the dome, um, getting, I wanted to have a flat dome, for whatever reason when I was looking at Henry I felt he had more of a flat dome, and I think when you actually look at me he really does, that's why I went with it, so getting the parts I needed to give a flat, flat surface on top of the dome, that was probably the hardest part. Henry and Gordon are very similar, like I said to the extent of the boiler, their fronts are designed a little differently based on their character. Henry, as we know, in his new shape is based off of a Black 5 from the LMS Railway. Um, before that, he was a mix of Gordon, he's designed the A1 and another locomotive. I'm not going to go into the whole backstory of Henry if you're really interested in the backstory of the character, the actual character. There are plenty of other YouTube channels that go over it, um, but I'm just here to kind of give you the basic rundown. So this version, his new shape is based on the Black 5. doesn't need special coal. Oh, so we'll go ahead and we'll look at his face first. Henry and Gordon both pretty much have the exact same facial structure, except for I changed the mouth and I changed the nose, which is pretty standard on all of my Thomas builds. You know, when I built Edward, when I built James, when I built Donald, Douglas, Lennox, all of them had the same size face, same basic features to get the round shape, but after that, the nose and the mouth really sold the different character. So up top on Henry, he's had several other bits and pieces. He has his dome. I'm not sure what this is, and I feel bad. I should have done the research again, and I didn't. Um, but he's got this piece right here. kind of comes across mid-boiler. Then we continue our way back. And again, I'm pr I could get this wrong. I should have researched this, and I did. I, again, I have this bad habit of not researching. But the firebox area here, this was actually the first thing I built when I built Henry. Um, knowing that this is a key point to Henry, I had to build it this way, and that's what I did. Um, if we actually back up a little bit, you can see the handrail goes along the boiler, and here at the pistons, I didn't have the color oops, sorry, I needed, so you can see here it's actually dark gray here on the edge of the piston. Um, I don't mind that too much, especially because it's on the inside and on the back. I think a lot of people, if you're looking at Henry, you're either going to look at him from the side, like this, and it's not too noticeable, or you're going to look at him from the front or at an angle and still not too, like here. Um, maybe if you're looking for it, you can see it at least right away. But I think not until you start like scanning the model, you're going to notice it. Just like Gordon. Uh, coupling rods move with the wheels. Um, that was a big, big surprise when I ended up going with my plate and tile combination. Not the usual um, pins and the Technic kind of style version, so I was really happy for that. Um, my biggest complaint about Henry is that the cab's technically not accurate. Um, yes, looking at the side of the cab, very accurate. You got the big window on the side, which is exactly what Henry has. But when you look at the front, bring them in a little bit. And I don't want to turn them too much because you have to do look at the front of the cab. We have the whistle, 
but you can see here the uh, windshields are actually on top. I have them here. In reality, they're actually along the side here. The firebox and the boiler are a little smaller, and the cab, I'm not going to say wider. I want to say just his boiler. Both him and Gordon, if you like get a model railway version or look at the version, the way the whole they're all designed is their boilers sp naturally smaller than the cab however to get in all the detail I wanted I had to go with this larger boiler design which made me go with this larger kind of firebox area design and kind of limited me on options with the windshields however um, keeping to the idea that they were really thin even along the sides they were thin on a lot of his models and a lot of images you see so I kept that by making it just very small for you to see out of um, if I were to go back um, and make this model 8 wide I don't think I would have that problem at all I think building this model 8 wide this would all stay the same this would naturally come out of one more stud and to give this uh, the exact look I want or exact look of Henry but since I've been trying to stick to that 6 wide Lego standard um, this is kind of what I ended up with, and I don't think it looks too bad. Really, when you step back and look at the model, it looks fantastic. Hardcore fans might gripe, um, even myself, like I said, I kind of gripe about it. But knowing restrictions of LEGO, I've accepted it. If we can continue working our way back on Henry, he, like all the others, has the sticker from the Thomas and Friends sticker book that you can get that I got at my local Myers. Really, anywhere they kind of sell books or sticker books for children, you can find that. It's like a 700 sticker sticker book slash coloring book um i was really excited to build henry's tender um just because it was different donald's and douglas's was just two giant rectangles uh and then every other tender engine has had the exact same tender even gordon even though it's bigger and beefier henry has the really cool cutout here and i think a lot of people know and realize when you look at his uh tv version and the railway series version they're different um, in reality, you would actually take the tender, spin it backwards, and then that kind of dip down would be towards the back of the tender. For whatever reason, when they brought the character to film or TV, they went with this way. And that's what I'm designing them all off of or the early model era, like seasons 1, 2, and 3 um, is where I get a lot of my inspiration from. I still actually look at the uh, Railway Series version because I own the original, I think it's 24 books, I think that's what it is. And... So I do base it off of that. Again, I'm not going to walk you through the cab just because uh, unhooking the tender is kind of a pain. Back of Henry, very plain. No lamp as usual. Um, just because in the early TV show days, there weren't... Sorry, it's got caught on my poster board. There we go. Early days, there weren't any lamps on the back of the tenders. This side looks exactly like the other side. Fantastic. Um, another thing I'm going to say, because you may have noticed it, you may have not noticed it in the video, and I'm not sure if you did. Again, we got his lamp up here, too. Um, when you're looking at his tender, you might notice some slight green variation. That's just the difference between me using newer brick and me using older brick. Um, it's not that big of a deal. Like really, and it almost kind of adds a, I'm going to call it a natural look, where sometimes, I, though, you know, when you put stuff on screen and TV or even on the small scale, you know, it all looks one color, one bright green. Um, it kind of gives us that realistic look of kind of not, the paint everywhere is not going to be equally applied or fade the same way. So I really like it. It's honestly, like when I, even knowing it, knowing it, I can see it. But it doesn't really bother me, and I don't really see it that much. But, I think I said but quite a few times this last segment, bit of the segment. But, <laughs> right there again. I'm going to end off the video right now. This is Henry, my second largest, or the one of my two largest steam locomotive builds. I had a lot of fun, as usual, building these models. It's really keeping me in Lego. Um, I still, you know, doing the Star Wars stuff. I've been trying to get more Star Wars stuff to you, but I've really enjoyed building these, and I hope you all can understand that. Um, and yeah, as usual, in the description is my username for Instagram and my email. Please like or dislike the video. It lets me know uh, if I should keep doing these videos. And otherwise, I'm going to see you in my next video.